So my name is uh, Alexander, and the name of the band that I'm playing in is La Plunder. And uh, with me also there is uh, Pavle, uh, who is like a core member, who created all the music with me. And uh, as of recently we have Boris, who is like uh, playing bass and synth, and we're making some new songs with him, so he's a new member. We listened to the band called The Knife and we really liked their music and we were experimenting with some electronic sounds and we wanted to name ourselves after some sort of knife and we basically googled the types of knives that exist and we chose La Plunder because it sounded the best and then later we found out that there is a region in the world called Lapland and there were many coincidences that kind of linked Lapland with uh, Serbia and their colors that they choose in their flag and their national uh, clothes so it was kind of coincidental that it made sense <laughs> Pavel and me started uh, in 2020 when, uh, you know, COVID was pretty active and uh, we both didn't really know what we were going to do with our lives <laughs> and uh, there was not a lot of places where you could play music at the time, as everyone knows. So we started meeting at uh, his house every weekend and we basically scheduled ourselves a time, like from 9 to 5 every Saturday, Sunday, we would come together and, uh, and make some music and see what comes of it. And uh, it started getting more and more interesting and eventually a full album of songs developed. We had a lot more collaborators. We had uh, Luka Dubak who played the bass on a few songs and later we had uh, the Miuskovic brothers from uh, the band Turbo Trans Turisti who did uh, a bit of production. Pavle is a much better musician than me, you know, he's very talented at playing the guitar, playing bass, keyboards and singing. And uh, the music that I made for my own project called Aza and Kapale, and he has his project called Niko Nikolic. I basically was more of like sampling and computers and downloading stuff from the internet and using that. And usually it would go like, I would make some beat in the computer and be like, hey, can you play something over this? He would play, then maybe he would create a little bit of beats, I would play something. 
and you know we would just layer stuff and you know experiment it was kind of weird that the production of the songs was done at the same time that we decided you know this is the sound and this is how it's going to sound and then much much later when the songs were already finished we uh, met with uh, Boško and uh, Jimmy the Nuškovic brothers who showed interest in the project because they were starting a label at the time called Underclass they helped us a lot with like finalizing the songs and like choosing a, a style of production that it's going to have so it would not sound the same without them it was pretty free you know it was kind of anything goes and we would make sense of it later and we're still making sense of it It's a mix of Slavic tradition with uh, the new yet undiscovered sounds of the internet or something like that it says. It has a lot of these like Slavic rhythms, you know, Balkan rhythms, but it's very like electronic music with some weird noises and sounds and samples and uh, it's it's not for the faint of heart, so to say. It's very experimental and raw. We started playing live last year only, even though it's a three-year-old project at this time. And even that changed the sound and how we see it, because like performing it is much different than turning on the computer and playing some loops. It's our first time playing at like a real showcase festival, and uh, the vibe is different. There seem to be a lot more people who are like interested in music. You know, usually it's like parties and people come to drink and have fun with friends but here people are like I want to see some new talent so I'm a little bit nervous because maybe people will be judging a little bit more than usual Mi smo Laplander, za one koji su tako došli.